Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to save your files that you made in Python along with importing modules. First I'm going to show you modules just so you'll understand um, the importance of where you save your files and all of that. So first, a module is something that gives you a lot of functions. They're really nice. One that uh, I'm going to just do because it's really easy and it's used a lot uh, for smaller programs and novices that are learning Python is import math and what that does is it allows us to do things like math dot square root where I can find the square root root of a uh, kabajillion which turns out to be 3.162277 blah, 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 to the power of e plus 23 anyways so that's awesome, but uh, where did that come from? Well, um, Python actually has built-in modules, which I'll show you in a second. But one thing I forgot to show you is that uh, if you try to do math dot um, square root, nothing will happen. It won't work. Or if you try to do square root, you get an error because square root is not defined. Also, to speed up your programs, if you make a really big one and you're just pro and amazing, but for some reason the program takes like 30 minutes to actually work, um, something you can do to speed it up is instead of saying import math like that, even though I misspelled it in that example, um, what you can do is say from math import uh, square root or whatever function you want, and then we can use math dot uh, square root uh, 10 or wait a second. oh my bad we can just say square root and then 10 because the whole math module is not used so you don't have to use math and then you'll still get your uh, square root um, and POW is still actually available and the reason for that is that POW is also a built-in function of Python but the math version of POW is much more detailed and just more well coded so open up a blank version of Python uh, to code in like this not blank version of Python blank version of idle to code in and we'll start making our own modules so what we're going to do first um, is going to involve defining functions which is why I showed you that earlier you're going to type in DEF and then for this one we're just going to say add and then our parameters colon enter and we're going to give it the um, arguments X and Y and we'll add a doc string this is a adding function Um, so yeah, and now we're actually going to uh, give this some function. So we'll say uh, print x plus y. Oops, plus y, and then we'll define another one, and this will be uh, min or mini for minus. We'll also give that the arguments x and y. And then we'll say this is a adding function, period, and that. And then we'll just say um, print x uh, minus y. And then we'll press Control S or file and then save or save as. And then you'll get this window and usually it'll take you straight to your Python folder if it doesn't try to navigate into your Python folder and this is where you will store your modules so things um, directly in this directory huh. uh, that probably wasn't the best choice of words because that might sound confusing um, this is where all of your modules will go unless you want to put them in here which I re recommend you don't just because this way you can directly edit your files and you don't get them mixed up with uh, the C Python files that were uh, that came when you installed Python. Even uh, excuse me. Even though you can look for those yourself. 
and then for the file name we're just going to say um, test um, mod dot pi standing for test um, test module and then the dot pi also is very important make sure you save it as all files for those of you who uh, might have your default set on text or something like that and then um because the dot pi signifies python as well but anyways so in your shell now you can do something like import uh, test mod and now we have our add and our mini function however if we're going to use them we have to do test mod dot add and then we get our doc string and how to use it so we could do three um, plus one which would give us four and we get four and if we do test mod dot mini for minus and we do ten and comma one we're going to get nine and so as you see here <coughs> as you see here excuse me uh, we've imported the functions we've used the functions and we've gotten an output from the functions so we're actually able to use this however if you wanted to like save this to your desktop you're free to do that um, all you would do is just make a new file or new window say I don't know print this is oops this is a test and then just control s go to desktop um, all files right here and then just say um, blah, 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 dot pi save that close your windows and we have dot pi and it will print it it's just that you don't want to double click on that you want to actually run in the command prompt Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please comment with any questions, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for future videos.